French Canadians, Wikipedia Audio French Canadians s Francais are an ethnic group who trace their ancestry to French colonists who settled in Canada from the 17th century onward. Today, French Canadians constitute the main French-speaking population in Canada, accounting for about 22% of the total population. During the mid-18th century, Canadian colonists born in French Canada expanded across North America and colonized various regions, cities, and towns. The French Canadian settlers originated primarily from districts in the west of France, such as Normandy, Perche, Beauce, Maine, Anjou, Touraine, Poitou, Onis, Angoumois, Saint-Ange, and Gascony. Today, French Canadians live across North America. Most French Canadians reside in Quebec, and are more commonly referred to as Quebecers or Québécois, although smaller communities exist throughout Canada and in the United States. Between 1840 and 1930, roughly 900,000 French Canadians emigrated to the United States, mostly to the New England region. Acadians, who reside in the Maritimes, may be included among the French-Canadian group in linguistic contexts, but are considered a separate group from the French-Canadians in a cultural sense due to their distinct history, much of which predates the admission of the Maritime Provinces to Canadian Confederation in 1867. Etymology French Canadians constitute the second largest ethnic group in Canada, behind the English Canadians, and ahead of Scottish Canadians and Irish Canadians, although there is a divide between those identifying as French Canadians and those simply identifying as French. In total, those whose ethnic origins are French Canadian, French, Québécois and Acadian number up to 11.9 million people or comprising 33.78% of the Canadian population. Not all Francophone Canadians are of French-Canadian descent or heritage, as the body of French language speakers in Canada also includes significant immigrant communities from other Francophone countries such as Haiti, Cameroon, Algeria, Tunisia, or Vietnam and not all French Canadians are Francophone, as a significant number of people who have French-Canadian ethnic roots are native English speakers. Franco-Newfoundlanders, Province of Newfoundland and Labrador also known as Terre-Nouvienne, Franco-Ontarians, Province of Ontario, also referred to as Ontarian, Franco-Manitobans, Province of Manitoba, also referred to as Manitobain, Franciscois, Province of Saskatchewan, also referred to Saskois, Franco-Albertans, Province of Alberta, also referred to Albertain, Franco-Columbians, Province of British Columbia mostly live in the Vancouver metro area, also referred to as Franco-Columbian, Franco. Yukon Nice, Territory of Yukon, also referred to as Yukon Nice, Franco Tinoise, Territory of Northwest Territories, also referred to as Tinoise, Franco Nunavoy, Territory of Nunavut, also referred to as Nunavoys. The French Canadians get their name from Canada, the most developed and densely populated region of New France during the period of French colonization in the 17th and 18th century. The original use of the term Canada referred to the land area along the St. Lawrence River, divided in three districts, as well as to the Pays den Haute a vast and thinly settled territorial dependence north and west of Montreal which covered the whole of the Great Lakes area. From 1535 to the 1690s, the French word Canadien had referred to the first nations the French had encountered in the St. Lawrence River Valley at Stadacona and Hochelaga. At the end of the 17th century, 
Canada and became an ethnonym distinguishing the inhabitants of Canada from those of France. After World War I, English Canadians appropriated the term Canadian and French Canadians identified as Québécois instead. French Canadians living in Canada express their cultural identity using a number of terms. The Ethnic Diversity Survey of the 2006 Canadian Census found that French-speaking Canadians identified their ethnicity most often as French, French Canadians, Québécois, and Acadian. The latter three were grouped together by Janssen as French New World Ancestries because they originate in Canada. Janssen distinguishes the English Canadian, meaning someone whose family has been in Canada for multiple generations, and the French Canadian, used to refer to descendants of the original settlers of New France in the 17th and 18th centuries. Canadian was used to refer to the French-speaking residents of New France beginning in the last half of the 17th century. The English-speaking residents who arrived later from Great Britain were called Anglais. This usage continued until Canadian Confederation in 1867. Confederation united several former British colonies into the Dominion of Canada, and from that time forward, the word Canadian has been used to describe both English-speaking and French-speaking citizens, wherever they live in the country. Those reporting French New World ancestries overwhelmingly had ancestors that went back at least four generations in Canada. Fourth-generation Canadians and Québécois showed considerable attachment to their ethno-cultural group, with 70% and 61% respectively, reporting a strong sense of belonging. French Canadians, French Canadians of the Great Lakes, New England French The generational profile and strength of identity of French New World ancestries contrast with those of British or Canadian ancestries, which represent the largest ethnic identities in Canada. Although deeply rooted Canadians express a deep attachment to their ethnic identity, most English-speaking Canadians of British or Canadian ancestry generally cannot trace their ancestry as far back in Canada as French speakers. As a result, their identification with their ethnicity is weaker, for example, only 50% of third-generation Canadians strongly identify as such bringing down the overall average. The survey report notes that 80% of Canadians whose families had been in Canada for three or more generations reported Canadian and provincial or regional ethnic identities. These identities include French New World ancestries such as Québécois, Acadian. Since the 1960s, French Canadians in Quebec have generally used Québécois or Québécois to express their cultural and national identity, rather than Canadien Français and Canadien Français. Francophones who self-identify as Québécois and do not have French Canadian ancestry may not identify as French Canadian. Those who do have French or French Canadian ancestry, but who support Quebec sovereignty, often find Canadian Francais to be archaic or even pejorative. This is a reflection of the strong social, cultural, and political ties that most Quebecers of French-Canadian origin, who constitute a majority of Francophone Quebecers, maintain within Quebec. It has given Québécois an ambiguous meaning which has often played out in political issues, as all public institutions attached to the government of Quebec refer to all Quebec citizens, regardless of their language or their cultural heritage, as Québécois. Identities The emphasis on the French language and Quebec autonomy means that French speakers across Canada may now self-identify as Québécois, Acadian, or Franco-Canadien or as provincial linguistic minorities such as Franco-Manitobain, Franco-Ontarian or Franciscois. 
Education, health, and social services are provided by provincial institutions, so that provincial identities are often used to identify French language institutions. Acadians residing in the provinces of New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island and Nova Scotia represent a distinct Francophone culture. This group's culture and history evolved separately from the French-Canadian culture of Quebec, at a time when the maritime provinces were not part of what was referred to as Canada, and are consequently considered a distinct culture from French Canadians. Brayons in Madawaska County, New Brunswick, and Aroostook County, Maine may be identified with either the Acadians or the Québécois, or considered a distinct group in their own right, by different sources. French Canadians outside Quebec are more likely to self-identify as French Canadian. Identification with provincial groupings varies from province to province, with Franco-Ontarians, for example, using their provincial label far more frequently than Franco-Colombians do. Some identify only with the provincial groupings, explicitly rejecting French Canadian as an identity label. During the mid-18th century, French-Canadian explorers and colonists colonized other parts of North America in what are today Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio, far northern New York and the Upper Peninsula of Michigan as well as around Detroit. They also founded such cities as New Orleans and St. Louis and villages in the Mississippi Valley. French Canadians later emigrated in large numbers from Canada to the United States between the 1840s and the 1930s in search of economic opportunities in border communities and industrialized portions of New England. French Canadian communities in the United States remain along the Quebec border in Maine, Vermont, and New Hampshire as well as further south in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. There is also a significant community of French Canadians in South Florida, particularly Hollywood, Florida, especially during the winter months. The wealth of Catholic churches named after St. Louis throughout New England is indicative of the French immigration to the area. They came to identify as Franco-American, especially those who were born American. Distinctions between French-Canadian, natives of France, and other New World French identities is more blurred in the U.S. than in Canada, but those who identify as French-Canadian or Franco-American generally do not regard themselves as French. Rather, they identify culturally, historically, and ethnically with the culture that originated in Quebec that is differentiated from French culture. In L'Avenir du Francais Auxiliary Etats Unis, Calvin Veltman finds that since the French language has been so widely abandoned in the United States, the term French Canadian is there understood in ethnic rather than linguistic terms. French Canadian identities are influenced by historical events that inform regional cultures. For example, in New England, the relatively recent immigration is informed by experiences of language oppression and an identification with certain occupations, such as the mill workers. In the Great Lakes, Many French Canadians also identify as Métis and trace their ancestry to the earliest voyagers and settlers, many also have ancestry dating to the Lumber era and often a mixture of the two groups. Canada Quebec The main Franco-American regional identities are Elsewhere in Canada United States Population Distribution in Canada Distribution in the United States People who today claim some French-Canadian ancestry or heritage number some 7 million in Canada and 2.4 million people in the United States. 
In Canada, 85% of French Canadians reside in Quebec where they constitute the majority of the population in all regions except the far north. Most cities and villages in this province were built and settled by the French or French Canadians during the French colonial rule. There are various urban and small centres in Canada outside Quebec that have long-standing populations of French Canadians, going back to the late 19th century. Eastern and Northern Ontario have large populations of Francophones in communities such as Ottawa, Cornwall, Hawkesbury, Sudbury, Welland, Timmins, and Windsor. Many also pioneered the Canadian prairies in the late 18th century, founding the towns of St. Boniface, Manitoba, and in Alberta's peace country, including the region of Grande Prairie. Culture The following table shows the population of Canada's that is of French ancestry. The data is from Statistics Canada. It is important to understand that the French-speaking population have massively chosen the Canadian ethnic group since the government made it possible, which has made the current statistics misleading. The term Canadian historically referred only to a French speaker, though today it is used in French to describe any Canadian citizen. It is estimated that roughly 70% 75% of Quebec's population descend from the French pioneers of the 17th and 18th century. Comparative table for the 2011 Canadian Census In the United States, many cities were founded as colonial outposts of New France by French or French-Canadian explorers. They include Mobile, Cur d'Alene, Vincennes, Belleville, Bourbonnais, Prairie du Rocher, Dubuque, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Detroit, Biloxi, Creve Coeur, St. Louis, Pittsburgh, Provo, Green Bay, La Crosse, Milwaukee, or Prairie du Chien. The majority of the French Canadian population in the United States is found in the New England area, although there is also a large French Canadian presence in Plattsburgh, New York, across Lake Champlain from Burlington, Vermont. Quebec and Acadian emigrants settled in industrial cities like Fitchburg, Leminster, Lynn, Worcester, Waltham, Lowell, Lawrence, Chicopee, Fall River, and New Bedford in Massachusetts, Woonsocket in Rhode Island, Manchester and Nashua in New Hampshire, Bristol in Connecticut, throughout the state of Vermont, particularly in Burlington, St. Albans, and Barr, and Biddeford and Lewiston in Maine. Smaller groups of French Canadians settled in the Midwest, notably in the states of Michigan, Illinois, Wisconsin, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, and Minnesota. French Canadians also settled in central North Dakota, largely in Rolette and Bottineau counties, and in South Dakota. Some Métis still speak Mikif a language influenced by French, and a mixture of other European and Native American tribal languages. Language Canadian French is an umbrella term for the distinct varieties of French spoken by Francophone Canadians, Québécois, Acadian French, Métis French, and Newfoundland French. Unlike Acadian French and Newfoundland French, the French of Ontario, the Canadian West, and New England all originate from what is now Quebec French and do not constitute distinct varieties from it, though there are some regional differences. French Canadians may also speak either Canadian English or American English, especially if they live in overwhelmingly English-speaking Canadian provinces or in the United States. In Quebec, about 6 million French Canadians are native French speakers. 599,225 are English speaking, Anglophones or English speaking Quebecers, and others are Allophones. 
In the United States, assimilation to the English language was more significant and very few Americans of French-Canadian ancestry or heritage speak French today. Religion Six million of Canada's native French speakers, of all origins, are found in the province of Quebec, where they constitute the majority language group, and another one million are distributed throughout the rest of Canada. Roughly 31% of Canadian citizens are French-speaking and 25% are of French-Canadian descent. Not all French speakers are of French descent and not all people of French-Canadian heritage are exclusively or primarily French-speaking. Francophones living in Canadian provinces other than Quebec have enjoyed minority language rights under Canadian law since at least 1969, with the Official Languages Act, and under the Canadian Constitution since 1982 protecting them from provincial governments that have historically been indifferent towards their presence. At the provincial level, New Brunswick formally designates French as a full official language, while other provinces vary in the level of French language services they offer. All three of Canada's territories include French as an official language of the territory alongside English and local indigenous languages although in practice French language services are normally available only in the capital cities and not across the entire territory. Agriculture History Modern Usage Christianity is the predominant religion of French Canadians, with Roman Catholicism the chief denomination. The Kingdom of France forbade non-Catholic settlement in New France from 1629 onward and thus, almost all French settlers of Canada were Catholic. In the United States, some families of French-Canadian origin have converted to Protestantism. Until the 1960s, religion was a central component of French-Canadian national identity. The church parish was the focal point of civic life in French-Canadian society, and religious orders ran French-Canadian schools, hospitals, and orphanages and were very influential in everyday life in general. During the Quiet Revolution of the 1960s, however, the practice of Catholicism dropped drastically. Church attendance in Quebec currently remains low. Rates of religious observance among French Canadians outside Quebec tend to vary by region, and by age. In general, however, those in Quebec are the least observant, while those in the United States of America and other places away from Quebec tend to be the most observant. French Canadians have selectively bred distinct livestock over the centuries, including cattle, horses, and chickens. Traditionally Canadians had a in eastern Canada, this subsistence agriculture slowly evolved in dairy farm during the end of the 19th century and the beginning of 20th century while retaining the subsistence side. By 1960 agriculture changed toward an industrial agriculture. The French were the first Europeans to permanently colonize what is now Quebec parts of Ontario, Acadia, and select areas of Western Canada, all in Canada their colonies of New France stretched across what today are the maritime provinces, southern Quebec and Ontario, as well as the entire Mississippi River Valley. The first permanent European settlements in Canada were at Port Royal in 1605 and Quebec City in 1608 as fur trading posts. The territories of New France were Canada, Acadia, and Louisiana. The inhabitants of Canada called themselves the Canadians, and came mostly from northwestern France. The early inhabitants of Acadia, or Acadians, came mostly but not exclusively from the southwestern region of France. Canadian explorers and fur traders would come to be known as coureurs des bois, 
while those who settled on farms in Canada would come to be known as habitants. Many French Canadians are the descendants of the king's daughters of this era. Many also are the descendants of mixed French and Algonquin marriages. During the mid-18th century, French explorers and Canadians born in French Canada colonized other parts of North America in what are today the states of Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Illinois, Vincennes, Indiana, Louisville, Kentucky, the Windsor-Detroit region and the Canadian prairies. After the 1760 British conquest of New France in the French and Indian War, the French-Canadian population remained important in the life of the colonies. The British gained Acadia by the Treaty of Utrecht in 1713. In 1755, the beginning of the French and Indian War, the British ally British Americans from Massachusetts committed what historian John Mac Farragher calls the first genocide by devastating Acadia, deporting 75% of the Acadian population to other British colonies and France in a massive diaspora. Those Acadians deported to southern colonies close to French Louisiana migrated there, creating Cajun culture. Beyond Acadia, French Canadians escaped this fate in part because of the Capitulation Act that made them British subjects. It took the 1774 Quebec Act for them to regain the French civil law system, and in 1791 French Canadians in Lower Canada were introduced to the British parliamentary system when an elected legislative assembly was created. The Legislative Assembly having no real power, the political situation degenerated into the Lower Canada Rebellions of 1837-1838, after which Lower Canada and Upper Canada were unified. Some of the motivations for the Union was to limit French-Canadian political power and at the same time transferring a large part of the Upper Canadian debt to the debt-free Lower Canada. After many decades of British immigration, the Canadians became a minority in the province of Canada in the 1850s. French-Canadian contributions were essential in securing responsible government for the Canadas and in undertaking Canadian Confederation. However, over the course of the late 19th and 20th centuries, French Canadians' discontent grew with their place in Canada because of a series of events, including the execution of Louis Riel, the elimination of official bilingualism in Manitoba, Canada's participation in the Second Boer War, Regulation 17 which banned French-language schools in Ontario, the conscription crisis of 1917 and the conscription crisis of 1944. Between the 1840s and the 1930s, some 900,000 French Canadians emigrated to the New England region. About half of them returned home. The generations born in the United States would eventually come to see themselves as Franco-Americans. During the same period of time, numerous French Canadians also emigrated and settled in eastern and northern Ontario. The descendants of those Quebec immigrants constitute the bulk of today's Franco-Ontarian community. Since 1968, French has been one of Canada's two official languages. It is the sole official language of Quebec and one of the official languages of New Brunswick, Yukon, the Northwest Territories and Nunavut. The province of Ontario has no official languages defined in law, although the provincial government provides French language services in many parts of the province under the French Language Services Act. In English usage, the terms for provincial subgroups, if used at all, are usually defined solely by province of residence, with all of the terms being strictly interchangeable with French Canadian. Although this remains the more common usage in English, 
it is considered outdated to many Canadians of French descent, especially in Quebec. Most Francophone Canadians who use the provincial labels identify with their province of origin, even if it is not the province in which they currently reside, for example, a Québécois who moved to Manitoba would not normally change their own self-identification to Franco-Manitoban. Increasingly, provincial labels are used to stress the linguistic and cultural, as opposed to ethnic and religious, nature of French-speaking institutions and organizations. The term French-Canadian is still used in historical and cultural contexts, or when it is necessary to refer to Canadians of French-Canadian heritage collectively, such as in the name and mandate of national organizations which serve Francophone communities across Canada. Francophone Canadians of non-French Canadian origin such as immigrants from Francophone countries are not usually designated by the term French Canadian The more general term Francophones is used for French-speaking Canadians across all ethnic origins. Quebec Acadians Franco-Albertans Franciscois Franco-Columbians Franco-Manitobans Franco-Ontarians Franco-Yakana Franco-Nunavoy Franco-Tinois Organizations French-Canadian flags <laughs>